Hi, welcome back to Leech News. Episode 57, Part 2. You did not the same. Well, that was weird. Sam Pepper and Greek God X. Slandering Ice Poseidon. Well, let's see what we got coming up next, huh? Uh, oh, oh, we have breaking news. Apparently, it was not even real breaking news. Apparently, Hampton Brandon's channel, the content cast, their channel has been terminated. Wow. Hampton Brandon on YouTube is no more. SSJ is struck again. I don't know if that's true, but it's drama, so I'll say it. I mean, regardless, though, you got to feel for Hampton. He's got fucking nothing when it comes no it's to horrible <laughs> he's he's living he's got like snapchat and edmodo now it's like what the fuck he's gonna run on when i when i listen to his streams it's all of him just complaining about his dog sitting in a motel and smoking cigarettes or they go outside and they're riding their skateboards but i mean it sucks because all of his platforms he himself has just completely ruined you know mm -hmm. he's the, he's the, he's the most detrimental force in his entire life well i mean he's i mean he's in a little bit of a fuck situation because yeah. You know, he's known for doing fuck shit. Yeah. And when his chat tells him to do fuck shit and he doesn't do it, he's a pussy. Yeah. And then when he does do it, they're like, wow, you're fucking stupid. Yeah. And he's basically in this fuck position of a high standard of doing dumb shit. Now he's fucked himself off every channel. Yeah. So, I mean, I feel bad for him, but then again, he did it himself, so he's the one that's retarded for getting himself banned off every single platform he had. I do honestly believe that the most interesting thing to happen this year, which I hope is in the script, I don't know if you have... Uh, uh, some early versions of the scripts are happening this year. Maybe you can tell me. If I, not. I, I do. Okay. I see the script. We're like six weeks ahead. Can we please see Hampton Brandon and Ice Poseidon coming back together for some kind of reunion stream? Some kind of something. I just want him as like the villain, but like not the like the I'm gonna kill you sort of villain, but like the playful sort of back and forth type of. Right. Content. I know a lot of the viewers they want to see Paul and Hampton yeah. Brandon come together yeah. and become friends again. But not even that, friends. Not even friends. Just yeah. be on stream together. But you have to understand, like that tension between Ham and Brandon actually punching Paul and them getting to a fight. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure Paul does not want to associate with them. Yeah. Anymore whatsoever, or give him a platform just because he's just going to lash out again. Like, yeah. he, you know, he's a wild card. But obviously, the viewers want to see that. Yeah. Because of that. No, I agree. They want to see something else happen. So, first of all, how can you get yourself banned? Someone. Has to copy strike, copyright strike you or something like that, or strike your channel for whatever kind of content. You don't get yourself banned, dude. That's number one stupidity. Number two stupidity. Saying that Ice Poseidon had nothing to do with that. You, of course, are going to say, oh, he didn't do nothing. He got beat up. Well, Hampton Brandon got beat up, too. You just didn't see it. You didn't see the after effects of what Ice Poseidon did to him also. Which covered the story for Ice Poseidon being the good guy. If Hampton Brandon would have just outright showed the full footage right off the bat, then you would have seen that it was not all Hampton Brandon egging that fight on. And you'd also see that Ice Poseidon has no right to be upset anymore, obviously. Not only because it's over, but because he also played a part in that. Because it was already after the fact of U UFC X2. And he was saying, oh, why don't you fight me in a ring? Why don't you fight me in a ring? When it was already over. Oh yeah, fight me in a ring. And then he was saying he's not going to pay Hampton Brandon, that Hampton Brandon doesn't deserve this, Hampton Brandon doesn't deserve that. Yeah. That's silly. Now, granted, of course, Hampton Brandon does have some cringy content. He does. Some, some of that stuff is very cringe. The going into... Random stores and yelling at random people, almost getting into fights with random workers at a store and stuff. That's pretty cringe. Suspenseful. But 
to mock him like Hyphonix does? How does Hyphonix still have a platform? How is Hyphonix still doing what he's doing? All he does is mock everybody and get away with it. Get him kicked off the network. Get him kicked off YouTube. Blah, blah, blah. Mox him, mox him, mox him. And he's still standing strong. Just ask yourself that. It's not just because Ice Poseidon. Ice Poseidon does not have that much pull in and of himself. It goes back to the SSJ Brent junk. SSJ Brent is in ties with a lot more than the Mafia. A lot more than mob bosses. He's got a lot of people you don't want to mess with in his back pocket. So, he's the one you should have been ditching a long time ago. Where there's lots of money like this, you're getting all these handouts that are actually loans from quote-unquote investors. They're just loans. And then you want to knock and mock uh, Farmer Charlie for money laundering his, his uh, drug business through all his streamers uh, TTS. But what, what's going to happen when you're exposed, Ice Poseidon? Really, SSJ? Ice Poseidon's going to ditch SSJ like a heartbeat once SSJ is exposed. Ooh, he's going to ditch him so fast. He already said, oh, SSJ's not going to be here long. No, it's really SSJ's not going to be here if he gets exposed. If he gets exposed for the real fraud he is, and the real truth comes out, because Ice knows they got really smart people in there who can hack your junk real fast. SSJ Brent has a lot of backup plans in place. A lot of safety and protection, online safety and protection, and bank account safety and protection stuff, which is good. Don't get me wrong, that's a good thing for anybody. But Brent's been a content cuck, so... He's making a lot of people mad. Stop making people mad. Then you might uh, actually get away with your criminal activities. All right, let's see. Let's see the Sam Pepper side. His little, he calls it cloud chasing. Well, TFU calls it cloud chasing. TFU is a little sissy boy. Just put it to you that way. Um, and that's putting it mildly and nicely. We're, uh, we're in the back of the ambulance. We're joined with uh, TFU right now. And we're going to attempt to drive around in the ambulance, go through some drive throughs fucking God knows what. And, and uh, I don't know, TFU's going to try and actually win some games. I'm going to try to win a game, you know, I'm going to lounge back like this. Is this like a normal thing, this like vertical keyboard thing, or is that like a you thing? It's like a normally weird thing. Like other people do it. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Is this, is this a normally weird fucking backrest right here or what? Yeah. Why does it I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm sucking my head. This, this, this is what <laughs> happened. Was I built the whole thing and then I realized that the wall. Oh, you said it, Tfue. You're definitely sucking your own penis. But not in the physical manner, in the metaphorical manner. Oh, look at me, I'm Tfue, guys. Look, guys. As if Sam Pepper's the only one cloud chasing. I'm back with Karina, guys. Oh, she just got with Logan Paul so we could cloud chase some more. Oh, chase the views. Oh, guys. I'm Biff Tian. Yeah, guys. Oh, 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 oh. go like inwards. So when I put this on, I was like, this isn't comfortable. Like, you can't, like. Oh, That's saying. Um, Tfue's a pussy bitch. If he has a Discord, he should, like, tell people that he's live streaming on the channel. Alright, listen, Sam, dude. I know you're trying to get Cloud Farm out here, dude. That, I don't know. <laughs> that's that's saying, like, that's saying, like, <laughs> that, that's just what that's saying. I'm just, I, I mean, what am I to do? Oh, Cloud Farming. <laughs> Alright, Leech News, episode 57, part 2. That'll do it.